Well, good morning everybody and welcome to episode 195 of House and Garden Flipper. We are heading straight over to the stilt house with the very vague hope that we can actually finish it uh, today in this episode and maybe go to auction. I still haven't managed to dislodge the, um, the Smoth family from the top row, which is very disturbing because they don't like dark coloured walls and you know they would like more children's bedrooms and a whole bunch of other stuff um, and unfortunately they they seem to think this is their house and it really really isn't their house it's not designed for them they're driving me crazy so anyway winding aside this is our outside area It's uh, not too bad, I guess. It's a very busy kind of backyard, though. And this is our inside area. So, right. Just hoping to dislodge the smoths. They're driving me nuts. Alrighty, let's get to it. So, as per, as per our fellow's instructions, he likes a sauna. He likes a bathroom. I think I could probably get rid of the smoths if I got rid of that second bathroom. So we might think about that. Um, he likes a really, really big, really big um, area in here. So he's got it. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just at a loss as to what we can do. Actually, you know what? We can turn this whole thing into a home cinema. Uh, and it's not, it's not recognizing the speakers as home cinema speakers. That's what it is. All right, we will fix that little red wagon. We will. Electronic equipment. Home electronics. And low profile fancy fez speaker. We'll leave it at the black. And actually, you know what? We're going to leave. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so to turn something from a living room into a home cinema, you just need to add more than one speaker. Well, okay, you should just have to add more than one speaker. No, that's that didn't work. So maybe maybe those speakers aren't recognized as speakers for the purpose of a home cinema. Like, wait a minute. All right, let's pop these back in. And I saw some movement in the clients and I was ignoring them, which is something you should never, ever do. Okay. Nope, there wasn't any movement in the clients. My bad. Oh, this house is costing me a small fortune. So what I'm trying to do is turn my living room into a home cinema, which should be able to be done by adding in more than one speaker. The problem is you've got to add in speakers that the system recognizes as speakers for the purpose of having, there you go, a home cinema. So. It does not recognize these tall things and it does not recognize those new speakers but now we have a home cinema come on guys all right I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna make the floors darker they, they make me crazy with this game let's do dark parquet that looks pretty cool Uh, and we don't want to have it going into, so let's just. So sometimes the clients really like the dark, sorry, the light colors that you choose. So we'll just disappoint a few of them. There we go. All right. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't go into the sauna and change the floor in there. So I've just. Yeah, just be a little bit careful. All right. Oh man. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sell this huge couch. <laughs> I 
Oh man, there is no pleasing some people. We're going to sell the huge couch and we're going to go into furniture and we're going to go into sofas. Uh, and I want, I want something, actually let's go into armchairs. Give me a minute. All right, so, so what I want, okay, is I want something kind of modern, like the van maybe, with the Rito, the oblong dark colored armchair, that's kind of cool. You could just curl up in that. We don't want anything archaic. We want something modern. So I was thinking crummy, and I was thinking maybe in the dark gray. Or there's these egg chairs, egg, egg colored armchairs and they come in grey, which you can just lighten out the base a little bit. Alright, actually I, I like this. So if you're really into the vibes of the music, you can have a little... And we'll do another one over here. So this is just an area you can chill in. And then what we might do is we might have two low ones here. Just grab that and put it over there. And um, I want to put a coffee, actually let's get rid of that coffee table as well. Cool. And what we're going to do is, let's, let's grab a couple more of these. Maybe one more. Yeah, something like this. Right, and then what we want is we want like a, a uh, a two-seater sofa. And we want two of them, maybe. So there's your Venn. Um, and we want something really expensive, because we can. And we want something that's not recognized as a bed. Um... Oh no, we're not being fussy at all. See, that's that won't quite blend with our egg chairs. So then this is the other thing. We've now got to uh, match it to our chairs. So there's the sofa grenade, but I'm thinking maybe... You know what? We could go with the Juliet right corner. Make it gray that fits all right let me just grab this out of the way and we'll stuff this over here as well and we'll grab our Juliet right corner sofa in the gray with the with the gray wood legs there we go we're just gonna buy one we're gonna flip it we're gonna bring it this way I know I'd like something a bit curvier just to match the whole feel Alright, all right, guys, give me a minute. We're not done. I wish we were, but we're not. Okay, I think I might just zap that one. Alright, we we'll grab this. I'm gonna pop it over here. And you know, for the dude that's not particularly interested in the telly, you can sit him over here in the corner. What's that? It's a Juliet. Do I have a Juliet two-seater? I know, I've completely botched it now. Paying too much attention to the clients instead of what I want. Oh dear. Which means I need to change the Juliet into... into a dark... actually... I mean, 
what, I think we might stick with these dark two color cedar things, two cedar. Yeah. All right, this is gonna make our real estate agent happy. He's a menace to sell to as well. And now we want a plethora of coffee tables. I know, I completely messed this one up. Um, what does the Anada look like in the grey wood with the dark? Okay, so someone, someone likes his round coffee tables. I wonder how many of these I need. Probably don't need more than one, but I'm thinking we definitely need one here in between these two. I know, see, now the price is going up, so we're getting the businessman. And he does not like, you know what, we're going to get rid of that. Let's they don't know what they want, I swear. Let's go with the floor. No we don't. Yeah, rugs. There we go. Now they've done some changes to the rugs. In the Persian rug you can now get three sizes. But we're not going for a Persian rug. Ooh, that is pretty, isn't it? Um anyway. I'm after a grey a grey kind of so I think that's too dark so maybe maybe the white isn't such a bad whoa option let's let's take it down a size because it, it just goes slightly with the um I know, the Jantarts love it. This is not working how I want it to. <laughs> I would like a round carpet, please, with with the Roselle lines on it. No? Ah, fine, I'll stick with your rectangulars. Keep it in the small. I'm going to put that one here. We're going to put this one over here. Now I'm making an abomination. Hush, don't judge me. Can't quite get it in. Alrighty. I wonder if I move this here. Something's just not quite square, is it? All right, and then what we'll do is we'll angle the, the next rug. We can either go here or we'll angle it at, at, we'll angle it at an angle. That makes so much sense. No, it, I think it does need to actually be something like that. Jan Tarts adore it. They're going to hate this house though. Alright, well that's easy. We just turn it into a, a um, and they'll hate it because, alright. I'm not going to get the best price simply because I've got the wrong buyers at the top. So let's uh, see what happens if I turn this wall into a red wall. I know it's it's the wrong colour for this wall entirely. Let's go with paint. Paint. And actually, you know what? Let's let's do what you should never do with a small room. Let's paint it this really dark red. Actually, why don't we see what happens if I grab this? and make this wall. Look 
because what I'm trying to do is both the Gentarts and the Smith, Smoth, Smoth family. Oh, I like that better dark red anyway. Both the Gentarts and the Smoth family don't like um, that they like their pastel colours. So if we do sell this to um, yeah, that, that carpet's going to have to change now. Um, if we do sell this to the Jantarts, they're going to whinge about all the dark walls. And I suspect, you know what, I really like that dark colour. It's uh, it's going, going on. I prefer it. And I think I'm going to take out that timber panelling because that may be what's attracting our our dreaded Dan Tarts. Well, it should be. So what we'll do... Yeah. Let's just spawn ourselves another paint can, shall we? I know, I bought it. It's, it's player spawning. We can spawn ourselves a paint can as long as we purchase it and drop it where it needs to go. nice if your paint actually did what it was meant to do and attracted or detracted the customers. Just sometimes. Alright, either way I prefer this to what I had. There we go. Yeah, that's a much more somber room, not quite so in your face. In your face and how's your father? There we go. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore the clients. But I think I think this is a much better improvement. And like I said, those those white rugs don't fit anymore. We're gonna have to use, I think we're gonna see if we can get a really dark Either the dark grey rug that we said was too dark before, or um, if we can get a red, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, now I like it. That's that's an improvement. These are not colours I, I normally use. These are colours I normally avoid, like the plague. And, well, I'm for sheep as a lamb. Let's get this done. I know, I'm using my magic paintbrush to paint behind the painting without taking it off the wall. Because I can. Love it. So the other thing this is doing is it's removing a lot of the timber that will be attracting the jan tarts. They like ants, they like timber. I don't think that was quite meant to sound the way it did. Anyway. see what I've missed in here with the paintbrush I don't think I've yeah that's pretty good I don't think I've missed anything and if I have oops I'm going to be terribly sad so just in case I'm going to fill my paint brush up before I sell my paint can and in here yeah let's just um get rid of these No, everyone's sad now. What? Why? And then we're going to go and grab our floor again. And our rugs. I mean, the harem is a nice dark red too. That would that would probably work. We'll keep that one in mind. 
I'm going to see if I can get a red in the circles. Ooh. Let me just... Alright, so that's that's kind of what that will look like. And if we make it bigger... To the medium. It really breaks everything up, which means my, carp my, my lounge chairs are going to have to be darker. So your other option that we looked at, I mean, there's that too. I like that. Actually, oops, I do like that. See, there's that one. Actually, I prefer that to the to the Rosal. And then the, the third one we looked at was the Harem, which is this one. No. Okay, so I think what we're going to go is we're going to go with um, we're going to go with this one. I just like it a lot. Unfortunately, it means everything else we've got is I know. Here I am trying to attract Jimmy Trader. And I'm putting in all the colours that he says he likes. And the man's not touching the place with a barge pole. Oops. Okay. better. Now there's these really long curtains and I'm just wondering I'm wondering if we can have curtains that might match. They said they had curtains you could draw. Okay so mountable wide. So those are, are narrow. Emmons dark colored. Let's have a look at these. They look a little bit short though. Uh, make the ornament black. It's not going to go above the door. All right, I don't think. Oh no, I see why it's not going to go above that door. What about this one? No, it does not think it should go there. Okay. All right, so how about we use a, cu a curtain that I know works, even if it's the wrong color? All right, no, same problem. All right, so that's not going to work. We can't put curtains on either side of these doors. That's a shame. All right, and uh, tab out of that one. All right, so now that we've darkened the whole room down, I think this furniture is too light. So let's just grab these. I know, they're all whining again, again, I tell you. Grab our Ven and we'll grab it. I mean, we could make it red, but I think that's too bright. Make it black. Let's make it black with the grey wood base. See, now I think it's too dark. Yeah, it's definitely too dark. So we had grey with the grey wood base and it looked... Oh, you know what the problem is? It's sunset and I'm going to need lamps, ceiling and I like, I was about to say let's do the one I always do but actually now that I look at it, uh, that's kind of catching my eye. That really, that really suits actually. The the other the contender I had was um, what I was about to change my mind to was the short diamond, which we used upstairs in the bathroom. Okay, 
see, and I don't think that works. I mean, it might work in individual spaces like here. Actually, we might put, put it over there and we'll put this one about here. Kind of treat it like a downlight when it's not. And I'm just going to put this one, actually we might do the same and put this one in the corner. Alright, where's my light switch in here? Yep. I don't know why it's glowing red, that's a bit scary. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking the winner is this thing here. And we'll, we'll go with... Yep, go with the black and we might we'll buy one above here in the center and we're going to buy one here in the center. That's too much in here. I, I don't like how that's red. Uh, anyway, all right, that'll give us a better idea of what our color schemes are doing. It was looking really dark because the sun had gone down. Uh, so, we'll go back to our chairs. So I was contemplating putting the black in and I was thinking it was a little bit too dark. Yeah, it's still too dark. All right, so we are gonna, we, we should have just stuck with the with the gray like we had. Never mind. All right, we're about to upset the real estate agent because he, he only wants two couches and he gets quite snippy if he put in more. So he can get as snippy as he likes. There he goes, whining. He's not even the top buyers. I don't know, actually, I'm not sure I like that myself. Why don't we take out this one? Yeah, I know. Shh. And we'll move this one over and just angle it at a slightly less steep angle. Could just put it side by side too. Oh no, I want it angled a little bit there. Grab this thingy, what's it here? Maybe angle it. Maybe angle it there, something like that. And the problem with these is getting the symmetry. Yeah, that's not working for me. Don't know about you, but it's not working for me. Uh, I'm matching it to the angle of the carpet behind it. Kind of. All right, now now let's go back to the oops to the coffee table. Okay, let's find the coffee table. Okay, so that's a wooden one. Why don't we look for one that's not a wooden one? Like that. Or we could go, no, I okay, cannot black. Granite's nice and dark. Let's have a look at the granite. That's pretty good. Let's have a look at the marble. Now this is red marble. Okay, that's too much red. This is grey marble. Yeah, that lifts it. Okay. <laughs> and now, of course, the other guy that I'm aiming this place at is like, but what if no girls come to the living room? Mate, it's a living room. It's just, you know living room with stuff and what we'll do is we'll put a, an oblong probably the maybe the inspire possibly the rich chic I like the inspire metal that's kind of cool everything else looks a little chonky I also like the Ramvik but it's see I mean let's have a look at that you need your grey wood and then you need your grey wood again. Ooh, American walnut. That's pretty. Hmm. 
No, I think we need the elegant lines of just pure metal. And we need the long one and black. It's not going to work. It nearly works, but I don't think it uh, it works well. Oh, okay, no, I'll, I'll give it. It'll it'll be fine. Grab this one, and what we're going to do is pop. That's going to take someone's ankles out, but anyway. And we need all sconces. Well, we need one here, maybe. So in all of that, even though it's designed to be a young person's house, I have not managed to dislodge the Smoth family from the top, which is really disappointing. So I'm just going to grab my armchairs again. Um, we could go for that, but what we might do is go for something a little chunkier than what we had before. I mean, even as much as I like the idea of being able to curl up in the corner, I could go for something like the Krami. And that will match the very chunky lounge chairs. Alright, and the only other thing I really haven't done in here is put in any decorations. Um, by which I mean I haven't put in any, like, there's no ornaments, there's no plants on the shelves. Alright, so I think we need at least a plant. I know. So much for getting rid of a small family. Something like this. Ooh. Let's have a look at that. that there. And pop that there. So we just want something to soften how empty the whole thing looks. Because it, it kind of looks mega empty. So um, maybe a couple of lamps standing. Standing. Uh, I don't know. Not night lamps, just <clears throat> see this would be really good table lamp cube if it if it came in a grey or a I don't know just just a different couple of shades but it's it's not going to fit where we've got what we've got so I, I'm thinking this is probably our best option. Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look at the floor lamps, the really tall ones. And see if there's like this one and maybe pop it it's got that red bulb it's like the whole house is is possessed of something okay yeah so it doesn't look quite so empty I'm not sure I like the effect but uh, anyway Let's leave that alone for a minute. Uh, we want maybe vases. So let's just duck down to decorations. And vases. And the glass vase tula. Let's, uh, let's have a look at that. I can't put flowers in it, so that's okay. We'll just... It doesn't look like anyone's really into the vases, that's fun. Where else can I put one? I just want the, the place to look a lot less a lot less uh, empty. Hmm. There's not a lot more I can do. 
Oh, I haven't done the end rooms. We might. We don't have a lot of gold in there. mess that room up completely that's okay all right we now need to put a little cozy corner in here so uh, I'm thinking a low square table and just a couple of armchairs on either side uh, and we'll probably just go with the go with the crummies in the dark gray because the dark gray ironically would lighten this whole place this is kind of like a waiting room in many ways can't get into the sauna? No worries, take a seat, sir. Uh, yeah, tick, tick, tick. Grab that, grab our square, grab our black on black, and tuck this. You know, I'm wondering if we could fit a long one in there. Alright, that'll do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just continue with our vase theme. So we'll grab this thing, sit it in the middle. I know, now it looks really like a waiting room. And uh, then we're going to grab our, I don't know, what was the other thing we were doing? Completely lost it. Where's our rug? Oh no. Uh, floor, rugs, crazy, crazy pattern rugs. Where's our crazy patterns? Here we go. Pretty sure a medium is going to be too big for the room, but hey, you never know till you try. All right, let me just get over here out of my own way so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, a medium is definitely too big. A small isn't going to be big enough, but uh, it'll do. I'm going to center it. You know what? I'm going to take out my demonic lamp. I know it's driving me crazy. Uh, I'm going to put a standing lamp in the corner, not, not one of the standing lamps we used before, but the this one, and we're going to make it dark, and we're going to just pop it over here and turn it on, I know, and then what I'm going to do is grab one of these dangly lamps, because that's the official designation for a dangly lamp. Um, I'm not going to get a good price for this, the buyers are just too, they're not happy Jan. All right, so now it's all lit and we can plainly see that it is missing a plant. So we're going to have to go with our jokers because that's, I'd like a black pot for those, but we, we don't have one. So we will grab, or maybe we can try the Dres Dracaena. Let's have a look at this. Okay, it's going to have to stand too far out, so, alright, so we will go with our Joker, which I think, or maybe one of those, give me a minute. You know what, I kind of like that. Alright, I think that is where we're going to leave it. It's a 48 meter square home cinema. You know what, let's just try one thing. Let's take out this and see if we get a client shuffle. Oh wait a minute, we've just got to move out of the room. Right, now it's a living room. And it doesn't change anyone. However, because it's not a home cinema, we'll get a bit of price from the uh, the Smoth family. I'm not going to repaint it. Like I said, this was never intended to be their house. It was meant for the one of the younger guys, and they clearly don't like it enough to buy it. So 
I think on that note this is our living room uh, this is the atrium to our living room we have the second downstairs bathroom if I got rid of that I could probably get rid of the small family uh, but seeing as I don't need to go for those achievements I'm not going to let's uh, we've done the outside walk around so final walk around for the inside we have a couple of living spaces outside uh, on the veranda with some hardy outdoor furniture and we have the very green as in contrast to the very red downstairs we have the very green upstairs so I mean I could have just continued the green downstairs that might have been a better idea never mind Let's see what the complaints are with this place. This is our upstairs bathroom. It's very small and there's not a lot in it, but uh, there we go. So, as we look out at the beautiful ocean view, that is a gorgeous view actually. Let's, um, let's see what our buyers think of our house. I cannot do that now. What? Yes, you can. Submit for a garden contest. We're going for the American garden. Practical, easy to maintain, low profile evergreen plants, relaxing and recreation in the back, patio or gazebo, barbecue spot, swimming pool with sun chairs. Alrighty, let's see how we go. <laughs> they don't like my big pine trees. Never mind. Professional garden, it's well lit, it's practical, and there are a lot of plants. 42.5%. Not my best result with this garden, but that's okay. Let's put it up to auction. Okay, Georgia Chanoir. So we bought it for 116. So we're not going to get a great price for it. Elegant, no trash. What's he calling trash, I wonder? Jack Tarrington. One bedroom, no private space. Jan Tarts, there's too many rooms. Uh, one bedroom's okay, but two would be better. See, this is really not their house. He, he goes chicks like expensive house equipment, but if you put expensive house equipment in, he marks you down on it. And he's not, the 48 meter square living room is not big enough for him, which actually is a bit of a fallacy, but there you go. He's a bit of a worry, this man. There's just nothing that he... And Urko. <laughs> we didn't design it for Urko. Elegant and no trash. I wonder what he means by that. No expensive items. Um, yeah. So there you go. Alrighty, well. I don't think we're going to get any negotiation out of these guys because they don't like it enough. But you know what? There's nothing to say we can't try for maybe a third more of the price. So let's see how that goes. We should get a nod on your life. No, all right, we can accept your proposal. Well, who? Well, there's a bright point. Always negotiate. We'll accept their offer and head back to the office, I think. We've got a little bit more time before this episode yeah, runs out. Ooh. Yeah, it's not great. It's not bad though. <laughs> Can't see the house for the trees. Not so sure about that, do. That's not my best, I think. Alrighty. Couldn't make it work. Well. With the stilt house off to auction, uh, let's go see what else we can afford. Actually, they just did an update. I wonder if they gave us any new missions. Probably not, but let's check anyway. Okay, that's my archive. No new emails in the inbox. Alrighty. Map of jobs. They have actually optimized where the jobs are at, on the HGTV DLC. I'm not sure what that bright red bit's there for. Never mind. Let's head into the browser. All right. We currently own 13 houses. Very lucky number, I suppose. 498 grand in the bank. Um, 
we we have a few more to do before the new series is finished so uh, the semi-detached house I vaguely remember that that's a, another HGTV house so we've got two more HGTV houses before we get to uh, one of the base sets and before we get to a bunker so that's not too bad I'm thinking we might just pick up another this will probably make it three HGTV houses yeah let's grab this one I mean the alone home it'd be really good but we wouldn't have enough money to do it up if I bought it so alrighty let's buy this one we're gonna stay 328 I think we can do up the next one with with that so we'll buy those two all right that leaves us with just three more to buy and we're still doing the semi-detached house awesome let's get into this one and see how far we get we'll probably get in time to do the cleanup and a bit of a walk around uh, the house consists of two independent living spaces both in remarkable condition the option for joining with an option for joining into one the walls separating the two twin halves are thankfully not load bearing and, can, and therefore each half can be arranged differently or connected or be connected for one larger space. Let's go see what it looks like. House price 135, 390. Now this man says green walls help him focus. The minute you put green walls in he runs away. It's a bit depressing really. Looks like we don't have much. I take it back. We have mowing um oh maybe we can try out the you know what let's let's just clean get this place cleaned up and looking a bit tidier don't forget down here all right that's nicer nothing on the fences try not to hose inside of oh no good I wonder if I can put flowers in the planter. That would look pretty. Ooh. So we actually get to play with the whole house, not just the one half. In the um, in the mission, you only got to play with half of the house. Oh, awesome. I did read the description. I just didn't register that it was actually going to be like both of them. That's really nice. Okay. It just looks tired. You could have a massive lounge room in here. into the outside world just we might as well finish cleaning down the, the outside of the house our clients are very happy now we've got the um now is that the smoth family the smoth family no oh what are they called again we'll look them up in a minute because i can't get their names right it almost looks like a job for a flamethrower in there it really does let's just get all this done and around to the corner. Okay. Might as well open that up. I am very tempted to use the flamethrower, but let's um let's just see how we go. Alright. Okay, so what I'm going to do, just for curiosity's sake, is I'm actually going to replace all of the furniture in each room as it is, as I clean it through, just to see what happens and which clients go to the top once the house is clean and the furniture is restored. This couch, by the way, um, counts as a bed. So, furnitures, sofas, and it's... it's a lead-on sofa um, our top clients 
or prefer light colors. So we're going to go with light colors. That doesn't mean to say I can't be adventurous. Oh, dark blue is pretty. <laughs> Raspberry, lily. That's, you know, that is kind of appealing. Teal. I haven't thought of a color scheme for this house yet, but that's that's kind of nice. All right, let's, um, can we tell what color this used to be? Oh, it's filthy. All right, we'll do black legs because you can't go wrong with them. So let's let's pop this in here and sell this one. All right, it's still a garage. It's probably not going to be anything that will ever change that. All right. Bing, bada, boom. Okay, I can't get into the house from the garage. I'm not even sure you can get into the garage. I mean, look at this. How are you going to drive a car in there? Uh, while we're here, let's get rid of these. We'll just get rid of the rubbish in here. Uh, this is going to be a bit more of a challenge. Alright, so what I'm going to do in order to remember which cupboards we've got is I'm going to put them all over on this wall. There's not going to be any rhyme or reason to start with. There looks like there's some dirt somewhere over here. Uh, it could be rubbish. That's okay. We'll find we'll find out if it's rubbish. It'll be sitting up on top of the thing. So let's go find what kitchen cupboards we need to purchase. I may yet change the whole house, so it's all good. These ones have little door handles. All right. We're going to go with a light, airy theme. So I'm thinking maybe uh, maybe a blue and white theme. This looks like them. Um, so we have wooden. So timber is favored by the gen tarts. they're right at the bottom so let's let's go for color then shall we and you know what we're gonna stick Ooh. okay we're gonna go with white and what we're gonna do actually it looks like the original cupboards were white so this is not a bad option there were three of them so let's just put three of them up here like I said there's not going to be any rhyme or reason while I purchase the exact replacements I'm just going to try and get them right oh bug. that's terrible right um, all right and then we have this thing so whatever that is it's uh, it's a windowed one of these I think yeah it's white wood though can I get a light colored one I can get a light colored one. There we go. We'll grab that. All right, we're going to stick that over there. I know this is not how the final kitchen's going to look. We're just going to destroy things a small piece at a time. All right, so the next thing we want is we want this kitchen utensil and that kitchen utensil. So we'll just poke them over here. Uh, and they'll be in our accessories under kitchen. All right, there it is there. I'm going to go with... that. So I'll just poke that over there so I remember it. The next thing we want is... whatever that thing is. I'm, I'm not going to go with the dark. Like I said, we're going to change the colouring slightly, but we're... yep, yeah, it's this one. Ooh, I kind of like that. It's not a lot of difference. Let's go with the steel. And we're just going to pop that over there. Alright, so now we can sell these bits. Okay, so it was a culina. So we want the drawer and two door culina. This is actually the first time I've really tried this particular approach, so I'm, I'm curious to see how it goes. All right, it's definitely a Kulina sink and it definitely has timber. Again, we are going to go with light. I'm going to go with a snowy top because I like the marble finish. I'm going to go with white handles. 
white details, white metal sink, uh, and the base, the base is white as well. So we're going to buy that and we're just going to poke it over there and then we're going to sell. All right, we're going to sell that. We'll get to the bits and bobs in a minute. All right, so these are, maybe those aren't Kulina. They've got those funny little handles. All right, so it's almost like it was a mix of cupboards in here. So hopefully whatever they were, there we go, wooden Kulina, light Kulina. Okay, white Kulina cabinet with drawer, snowy top, white handles, buy. And I need one. Wait. No, I only had one of those. And then the next one is one of these with a drawer and two. And we need one, two of them. You know what? I'm, I'm thinking peninsula, but uh, we'll see in a minute. So let's just get the, them as they are. So I need a, yeah, I need one of these left corner, left corner peninsula. Just pop that over there. So that's that thing. It should, if I flip it. Oh no, without the peninsula. Oh. Okay, left corner without, um, left corner wall. Left corner pin it, left corner cabinet, this one. Okay. So what we're doing is we're just changing the colour scheme slightly. Okay. Now I need these culinas with um with the handle and the double doors, these ones. And I need oh, don't need a peninsula. Light Kulina double door cabinet. There we go. So I need one, two. I'll just pop that in there. One and two. All right. Zap. Zap. And I got that as well. Now I need the narrow single door thing. Uh, not the peninsula, yeah, just the single door cabinet. Cool, pop that over there. So it was it was all wooden, but uh, we're we're not doing wooden. All right, so on top of that, I need a wok and some glasses and plates, which will stack in the cabinets, I think, uh, which will come out of the kitchen accessories. All right, and I'm going to run out of time before we finish here, so we're going to continue with the kitchen um, and cleaning the house pretty much uh, next episode. Uh, so if you like the this episode, please hit like. If you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. And uh, we'll just finish getting these glasses while I remember what they are, if I can find them. All right, so I'm not seeing the big water glasses. We'll just get the um, we'll just get some tall glasses, and we'll sit them. Okay, worst case scenario, we're going to sell it to the Johnston family. All right, what are they? Oops. Okay, those are little plates. Let's just grab some of those and put them on the bench. So what I'm trying to do is replicate as close as possible uh, what I found in the house when I arrived. Um, that's Lily. That's black. That's grey. All right, I'm just going to, yeah, look, it looks like I'm just going to go with with that. And we'll just stack. There we go. Uh, and we need a wok as opposed to a wocket. Neither will really fit in your pocket. Don't believe the rhyme. Oh, now I know there's one in there. All right, maybe it's not in the in the. Oh, no, there it is. I went right past it.
You know what? I, I kind of like that copper finish anyway. So let's um let's just pop that on the bench as well so we don't forget to include it. And then the last thing we need to include is the full burner stove. And you know what? I'm I'm actually gonna break from from what I see in the kitchen and we are gonna put a um a proper a proper stove in. So we've got cookers. Uh, which means we're going to need a range hood. So uh, let's. I was hoping for a Kulina cooker, but um, four one twelve, four forty, four forty eight. Let's go with this one. It's got burners on top, so that's kind of cool. All right, no, I much, I much prefer that. So that's instead of our cooker thing. So that's all there. So let's, uh, let's just get rid of. There's my dirty patch. Look at this. Nope, that's not the dirty patch. Fine, we'll just zap it anyway. Okay, it was the glasses that were the problem. All right, we also need a fridge like that. So massive fridge. Let's have a look at that home appliances we're in the right section for it probably that thing we're going to go for a Rio light as opposed to a Rio dark and uh, I mean I could go for blue oh I kind of like the blue highlight I mean, if you did blue there you'd have a white highlight no actually let's let's do blue highlight white fridge and um, light details all right we're just going to pop that over there and then we're going to sell that so next episode i'm thinking we're going to replace the table and chairs exactly as they are and we're just going to do all of this the same way it is although i'm i'm really starting to think we might want to have a bigger kitchen here and then like a dining room here and then if we go over into the house next door which we haven't even looked at yet we might put the living room in here and we'll actually have take out that cupboard and literally have them walking through from the dining room kitchen area into the living room so um, I think I think that will work best so there's there's quite a bit to to fix uh, in here and we also need to do the mowing and garden bits so that's where I'm going to leave you. Um, again, if you like the episode, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And I will check you later. Take care out there.